Welcome to the new Workology Go podcast. In just under five minutes, we'll get you the HR and workplace news you need before you start your day two times a week. Get ready, get set, and go with the new Workology Go podcast. Here are today's HR and workplace news headlines from the Workology Go podcast. I'm Jessica Miller Merrill. This podcast is sponsored by HSA Bank. One of our most popular resources right now on the Workology site is an article that dives into employer value propositions. One of my favorite EVPs I found is from Yelp. Their EVP is, we work hard, throw Nerf darts even harder, and have a whole lot of fun. Let's take a step back for a second before I dive into what an employer value proposition is and first talk about what employment branding is. It's a hot term you're probably seeing all over at conferences and events, and a number of talent acquisition teams are really making some strides and creating some great branding with the purpose of recruiting and retention. Jason Seiden shares a definition of what employment branding is and a little bit of the history of the concept in HR and recruiting. When we came out years ago, we we came up with this term workforce marketing because we just we needed some sort of lingo to talk about it. Nothing existed yet. In terms of what's an employer brand, it's what people say about your company as an employer. And I, I think the really important part of that definition is it's not what you say, it's not how you hope you're perceived, it's what people say about you as an employer. So that is your employer brand. It's, it's your reputation, it's, uh, it, it's not your benefits, it's not the ping pong table. It, it literally is, it's your reputation and the expectations that people have of you um, as an employer. Uh, how is it different from recruitment marketing? I think that's a really important question. Uh, you know, the relationship between your employer brand and recruitment marketing is the same relationship that a company's brand and a company's marketing programs, product marketing, uh, have. So, you know, the brand is the promise of you as an organization and what you stand for and people's expectations and, and your reputation and all that. Recruitment marketing, those are campaigns that you run to make your recruiting process more efficient. Okay. Okay. Cool. I think that's a good broader understanding for, for where we're going in this. It's kind of like the whole talent network, talent community, email list concept. It's sometimes it's very the same, but when and people talk about it interchangeably, but when you uh, really get down to the bones of it, they are very different. Today's featured article on the Workology Go podcast is titled Nine Employer Examples of Employer Value Propositions, and it's over on the Workology site. We'll link to this featured article in the transcript of this podcast, or you can just go over to workology.com and search employer value propositions, and you'll be able to be connected to this great resource. At its heart, an employee value proposition is the unique set of benefits an employee receives in return for the skills, capabilities, and experiences they bring to a company. An EVP is about defining the essence of that company, how it is unique, and what it stands for. An EVP also describes the mix of characteristics, benefits, and ways of working in an organization. Think about Yelp and like the Nerf darts and the cool things that they do. So it's the deal struck between the company and the employee in return for the contribution and performance. This deal characterizes an employer and it differentiates them from the competition. EVPs should not be developed by executives, but by employees. Sometimes this is where the rub is. I think it's really hard for us to give up control to the employees. And in my experience, I have seen real success in developing EVPs that are driven by the employee. One of the easiest ways to do that is through surveying your employees to find out what's important, discussing with executives, and then going back to those employees and having them share more input, and then also vote on the EVP before you bring it back again to the leadership and executive team so they can take a final look and make any suggestions or recommendations before moving forward. With health savings accounts, flexible spending accounts, health reimbursement arrangements, COBRA, and commuter benefits, HSA Bank is simplifying the health account experience for over 35,000 employers and 2.7 million members alike, inspiring everyone to own their health.
Learn more at hsabank.com. And that's this episode of the Workology Go podcast, sponsored by HSA Bank. We're your go-to for HR and workplace news. I'm Jessica Miller-Merrill. Thank you for listening. To learn more about the Workology Go podcast, subscribe to us on Apple, Google, and Stitcher. Our podcast is also available on Alexa and Google Home. Learn more at workology.com forward slash go podcast and access this episode's resources, links, and reports for more information.